Brayden really wants me to cut his hair tonight. Check out this massive crack. Change up some of these photos. <laughs> Brayden's like, just shave the whole thing off. I'm not farting. It's just the creaky couch. No! I'm really sorry. Welcome to another day in lockdown. I thought I would just do a day in my life today and just film what I'm getting up to because honestly, I'm not really doing too much. Like I've been consuming myself with my projects that I've been doing, but other than that, I haven't really been doing other stuff. So I thought I'm gonna force myself to not do too much work today and just vlog and bring you guys along for the day. I feel like because I'm in lockdown, it's so easy just to work, work, work and not have any time to switch off. I really wanna try and like put aside some time to actually have fun and be a bit more creative and do things that I've been wanting to try for a really long time. And since we're in lockdown, it's the perfect time to get creative and just explore anything that we're interested in that we might have not had time to do in the past. So I'm really wanting to take on a few hobbies for the rest of lockdown now, because honestly, I don't have a lot of hobbies and Brayden always says this to me, but recently I've been really curious about graphic design and I've decided that I'm gonna put aside some time to work on my graphic design skills because it's something that interests me and it's fun. And I also wanna play around with my Cricut. You guys can see it back here because I got that last year and I haven't used it enough, but it's such a cool thing and you can make so many different things like stickers, labels, and honestly, it's just a really good skill to have and I just want to get better at it. So they're just a couple of things that I personally want to try and do for myself during lockdown as well as read more. Sorry, I feel like I'm just like going on a big rant here, but yeah, I really want to read more as well. So I'm going to put aside some time today to choose some audio books on Audible that I want to read because I've got so many credits, but I haven't used them yet. Before we get on with the day, the first thing that I want to do is actually book an appointment for Brayden and I to go to the doctors at some point this week because I want to book in to get my vaccine and so does Brayden because we can actually get AstraZeneca now. I'm not really sure what the rules are, but I believe it is if like you're over 18 or something, you can get it. So it should be relatively easy to book in because apparently there's a lot of AstraZeneca around, but just like not a lot of Pfizer. So I'm gonna do that this morning and hopefully we can get an appointment maybe later this week or next week. Oh, hi, um, I was wondering if you had any appointments available to get AstraZeneca this week? We're all booked in now. We're gonna go and get our vaccines on Thursday, which is super soon, which is great. And it was so straightforward. I literally just rang up my doctors, booked in, and we're gonna go together on Thursday. But also, if you guys are wanting to try and find somewhere where you can get the vaccine, another thing you can actually do is go on Hot Doc or health engine i believe it's called and then just put in your postcode and click covid vaccine and then it will tell you everywhere that's currently doing it and then you can look for appointment times from there and i just thought i'd let you guys know that in case you didn't know because i personally was a bit confused about how i could book in a vaccine and that just seems very straightforward so i thought i would let you know next thing on my to-do list for today is to sort out an exchange for some photo frames i recently got from maya so as you can see this frame has arrived fully smashed, which is a little bit annoying, but I guess it's what you get 
for buying frames online because they smash when they're being delivered. But I've actually ordered quite a few of those photo frames and they've been dispatched at different times. And a few of them have arrived and they're perfectly fine. So hopefully the rest of them don't smash as well. But the reason that I've ordered them is because I'm actually getting some new prints really soon, which is really exciting. And I'm gonna decorate the office. That's honestly like my next project. I've got so many plans for the office, but I just need to wait for the prints to arrive. And then I'll probably do like a whole office transformation video. But I've also got some other prints arriving that will be scattered around the apartment as well. So I'm very excited for that. You guys know I love my home decor. These are what the frames look like. So they're in a really nice oak color. I thought it would be nice for a change because I usually go for white frames, but I just think this style matches our whole apartment aesthetic a bit more. So I've got three so far and quite a few more arriving, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. Anywho, I'm gonna ring Maya now and try and get that sorted. <laughs> While I'm on hold, I thought I would make myself some lunch. I've just heated up some leftovers. We've just got a turkey Mexican bowl. This is like my favorite dinner and like my favorite thing to have for leftovers. So I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy it out here because it's such a nice day today. And I'm just obsessed with my egg chair. Also, might as well tell you guys now because you can see it on camera, but check out this massive crack in our window. So we noticed this a couple of weeks ago and it's just a tiny little crack. I honestly don't even know where the crack was. And then it's just got bigger and bigger over time. And there's like nothing pressing up against the glass. Like that pole is nowhere near the window. Plus there's nothing here. So I have no idea what could have caused a chip. Like a chip could have been there from ages ago. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, it's decided to turn into this huge crack. But yeah, it's very annoying. So we're gonna have to try and get this fixed at some point. given up on that call because I was put on hold for probably about half an hour and it just wasn't really getting anywhere so I'll try calling them again later but now I'm going to make Brayden some lunch because he always eats while he's doing his work so when he has like his hours break he can just take the whole time off and we can go and do something or he can watch a whole episode of a tv show without worrying to cook so he usually meal preps but he didn't do that this week so he doesn't have anything prepared so I'm going to make him an omelette and then in his break we're actually going to go out to my P.O. box how fun Brayden's like I'll come to the P.O. box with you if you buy me a coffee so that is the deal but I need to go and pick up a couple of things from there and I just think it'll be nice to get outside and just break up the day I don't even know where the day's gone by the way it's already midday and I haven't even got started with the things that I wanted to do today I actually I really want to make a vision board today and just update the one that I did a few months ago because I just don't really feel like it's that relevant to my life. So I think I'll do that this afternoon after we get back from going to the PO box. I promise I will make time for my hobbies today, but there's just been like a couple of random things that I've had to get done this morning. But anyway, that is my plan. It's a little bit later on in the day now and I have actually gone out with Brayden during his break and we went to the PO box. It was just some nail polishes there and we went to go get a coffee, but all of the coffee shops were closed. So I've opted to make one at home. Also, I'm not farting. It's just the creaky couch. But when I got home, I actually went on a FaceTime call with my mum and my sister for a little bit, which was so nice. I miss them so, so much. So I've suggested to them that we should organize a night where we do like a Netflix house party thing because I've actually never used Netflix house party. But then I was looking into it last night and I realized that it's actually so much easier to set up than I realized. So you just need to get a Chrome extension, I believe. And it allows you to create a link to whatever movie or show you wanna watch. And then you can send it to people and then they can watch the movie or the show at the same time as you and you can like chat about it. So I wanna do that with them just because I feel like it'll be a nice thing to do together other than just go for walks. But now while I sit here and drink my coffee, I'm actually gonna go through my vision board and change up some of these photos. So I've vlogged the last two times I've updated my vision board. I can link both of those videos down below if you guys wanna check them out. But it's just a really good thing to do every so often just to make sure that all of the images that you have in front of you align with like where you're wanting to go. And also if I've achieved some of these things, then I wanna take them off of the vision board. I'll give you guys a quick skim of the vision board so you can see what I currently have on here. But I think I'm gonna change it up quite a bit because I do have 
quite a few new goals and I want to make sure all of these pictures align with them. So anyway, I'm going to do that and while I find the photos on Pinterest, I'm going to listen to an audiobook on Audible. So I'm going to download a new one because I don't really like the ones that I currently have. Like they're just not grabbing me. I'll let you guys know what book I end up listening to later, but that is going to be me for the next hour or so. This has kind of been a fail, not gonna lie. I found a few photos that resonated with me, but I really think that I need to like dedicate a bit more time to do this if I'm actually gonna do it. And I was kind of rushing it because I'm actually gonna be cutting Brayden's hair tonight. So I wanted to kind of get this done sooner rather than later so I could get on with that. But yeah, I managed to find a few photos and I'm now trying to print them out with our new printer that we got the other day. And Oh, I'm just having so many issues with it. I swear printers can be so confusing. Like, I don't understand them at all. And I've managed to print from my phone, but I just can't seem to figure out how to print from my laptop. And I really want to figure it out because I wanted to print out the photos and then use my Cricut to cut out the images and show you guys how I do that. But it's just not working for me. So... I think I need to have a little play around with that at some point and just figure it out. So yeah, I think I'm going to give up on that task for now because it's not really working for me. But now I'm actually going to do some research into men's hairstyles and how to cut men's hair because Brayden really wants me to cut his hair tonight and he's been asking me to do it for the last few days. And I was like, I need to vlog this. So we've held off. And so he's got some clippers, some scissors. He's got the whole kit, but I have never cut hair before. I've never cut men's hair. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. And Brayden's like, just shave the whole thing off. And honestly, we might end up at that point if I stuff it up, but I want to give it a go. And I want to actually try and do a good job. I'm thinking of maybe just like shaving around the sides and then just like trimming on top. But I'm thinking how hard can it be? Surely, surely I can do it. But I might try and find some inspo pics and watch some YouTube videos before he finishes work and then we'll crack on with cutting his hair. Welcome to my salon. All right, the haircut is beginning. I've watched some YouTube videos and tutorials on how to cut men's hair. So I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing, although- No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You weren't here when I was watching them. <laughs> I feel like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by shaving the back and then I'm gonna shave a bit higher <laughs> and then I'm gonna layer and and I'm gonna do this thing where it kind of like blends it and then I've got to trim around your ears and make this tidy and then very fun. stop I'm not gonna cut you and then I'm gonna trim around here I don't even know how to use these you, do you go up yeah you meant to go up okay why are you using a comb because I I saw this technique where you scoop the hair up and then you go like this against the comb I'm scared I'm gonna just I don't care, just go. I don't want to cut your scalp. Alright, come on, start. You gotta push it up against my skin. It's got a guard on it. This thing is a guard. Oh, so it can go flat? Yeah, that's what okay. you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna go shorter on the sides. Go up to my skin, though. No, go up to my skin. Close up. Yeah. Aren't you meant to have like a sideburn, though? Aren't you meant to have sideburns though? How's that around your ears? That side. Oh what? What do you mean, oh my God? Look at me. That's fine. I'm pretty impressed to be honest. Update on how it's going. I actually don't think it looks too bad. Like you have a lot of hair just like here, but let me give you the spin. Excuse the back of the neck to be fair, because um, it's just got a lot of hair there that's like stuck. But, did I not do an okay job? Okay, around here, maybe not. Should I start trimming the top? Do whatever you okay, want. Okay, I'm trim. I don't even know, this is actually scary. Trimming's more scary than that tool. I think, yeah, you've got a point cut. Actually, this is where the water comes in. I don't have a spray bottle. Scary? I don't know. What? To get the hairs off, like the little hairs. We don't have a water bottle, so I'm just gonna wet it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really sorry. We point cut. 
You bet I'm getting the Dyson hair dryer out after this, by the way. I see a style the front so I can do the back. This is taking a lot longer, so we're watching the Olympics, but I think I'd say I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I'm just not sure, honestly, yeah. Brayden. I tried to do what your hairdresser does, but I mean, I don't know. There's some little bald patches, like there. Um, yep. It looks really good. Brayden is apparently fixing his own hair. No. I'm fixing the bald patch. Okay, you're fixing the bald patch. Just looks like you're giving yourself a scratch, to be honest. This is what we have come to. Okay, so Brayden ended up fully shaving his head like we did a grade three all over because I apparently just didn't do a great job. I mean, look, I think I did okay. Let me know what you guys think. It was funny though because we FaceTimed my mum and my mum was trying to teach me how to do it because she cuts my brother's and my dad's hair. Like, I do think I've learned a few skills and if I was to do it again, I would do a much better job. But that wraps up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for another day in lockdown. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.